Hey y'all, it's your girl Jenny. Welcome to my blog. So today we are going to be doing a candy apple tutorial. So stay tuned. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. First thing first, get you a pot of boiling water going and you're going to place your apples in there for 10 seconds each. So after the 10 seconds are up, you're going to place them in a bowl of cold water and let them sit for a little bit. What this is going to do is get the wax off of your apples. Now, if you skip this step, your candy will fall off of your apples. You do not want that. So make sure you do this step. Here you can actually see the wax in the bowls. If you look very closely, all of those little particles in there is the wax coming from your apples. This is what you want. You want it to look like this so you can see that the wax is off of your apples. Now I'm just taking my stems off of my apples because they just seem to get in the way. These are bamboo treat sticks. I got these from Walmart for around like $3. As you can see, the apples look a little ashy. That is perfectly normal. That's exactly what you want. I'm going to let these apples sit for a full 24 hours and then we will be right back. The next day. Now I'm going to be making our candy mixture and we're going to be doing four cups of sugar, one cup of water and one cup of Cairo syrup, light Cairo syrup. And the measurements are also known as the 411 method. You can use any food coloring of your choice. I'm going to be using this sky blue from Sunnyside Bakery. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And normally I would add some white in this, but I want more of like a translucent color. So I'm just going to go with the plain blue. Makes me wonder who you might have been playing with. Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this. Make it back over and over again. Sweat. As you can see, there are a few clumps of food coloring. Don't worry about that. Those will go away once it starts to boil. Okay, so once you put your candy on the stove, you're going to put it on medium high heat. So I usually put mine around seven and you're going to let it begin to boil. Um, no need to continuously stir or anything like that. Um, wait until your thermometer hits 300 degrees. These are the flavorings that I use. I get these right from Walmart for about $2 and I'm going to be using watermelon today. Once your candy reaches 300 degrees, immediately take it off the heat and then pour and mix in your candy flavoring. Um, at this point, you need to move very quickly because this candy will start getting hard very fast. That's why you refuse, let me walk out 
you can now begin dipping your apples be sure that you are careful because this is extremely hot and you can burn yourself i have burned myself so it's not a good feeling anyways once you get done dipping you can do a little shake and then possibly scrape the bottom as well so you don't have too much excess candy so these are my apples after they have been freshly dipped and i'm gonna let them sit for about five minutes and cool off before i start to bag them So this is the finished product. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful to you all. And if you would like to see more tutorials on any type of candy fruit, just comment down below. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.